In this SOLIDWORKS tutorial, we will see how to create helix and spiral curves. So first select the plane on which you want to create. Suppose I want to create it on top plane. Then from this curves menu, curves toolbar, select helix and spiral. Then at first you have to create a base circle. So just take circle command, give the center point and click the other point then give the dimension how much diameter you want for this circle suppose I want it to be of 100 enter give enter press enter then this base circle will define the diameter of helix just accept then now it is creating the sp spiral so at first we will see how to create a spiral so to create a spiral you have given the internal diameter you can give the pitch the, the gap between two curves that will be the pitch how much you want suppose I want 10 so it will come nearer to each other from here you will have to define the number of revolutions how many revolutions you want suppose I want 10 revolutions so in this way this spiral is created then you can control the start angle you can say it at either clockwise or anti -clock counter clockwise clockwise or counter clockwise both direction you can control from it this area so to uh, you just have to accept this so this in this way you can create a spiral and to create a helix you have to click here and you have to select which parameter you want to define you can define pitch and pitch and number of revolution or you can give the height and number of revolution and you can give height and pitch so the different parameters are available suppose I go for pitch and revolution and then you can define here whether you want constant pitch or variable pitch so I want a constant pitch then give the pitch value how much pitch you want suppose I want a pitch of 15 so here the height has increased so in this way then uh, number of revolutions you can give here suppose I want 15 revolutions so revolutions are increased then start angle same way you can uh, also control clockwise or counterclockwise that also you can control from here if you want a taper helix uh, just tick on this taper helix so if here you can define the angle suppose I want 10 degree enter so it came outward because following option taper output is ticked so to remove that tick it will make that helix internal taper helix internal so if you don't want just remove this tick so it will be normal same way you can reverse the direction so it will go down up and down you can make it by reversing the direction then same way you can also create a variable pitch variable pitch helix just click on that then here you have to uh, in first cell you have to give number of revolution position of the revolution then diameter at that position and pitch as at that position suppose uh, at 5 position diameter is 100 and pitch is suppose I want 15 pitch so here you will see that pitch is decreasing suppose we will just zoom it in zoom in so same way for suppose 10th revolution for 10th revolution just click on this cell give 10 then go to next cell suppose diameter I want to you can also change the diameter if you want suppose I keep the same diameter and I want pitch to be of 10 so here you will see that the pitch is decreasing as per our data so in this way you can also create a variable pitch also just uh, press uh, accept to finalize the position so in this way you can create spiral or helix in SOLIDWORKS thanks for jo joining we'll stop here